Benito Mussolini, fascist dictator of Italy since 1922, was removed from power by his own government and the King of Italy in the summer of 1943 due to Italian military defeats. Imprisoned by the new regime, which concluded an armistice with the Allies, Mussolini was rescued on Hitler's express orders by German paratroopers and set up as leader of northern Italy, an area renamed the Italian Social Republic. The Germans allowed Mussolini to raise military units from among those soldiers who remained loyal to fascism. These new divisions were keen to prove themselves in battle, since the reputation of the Italian army had been poor. An opportunity presented itself in late December 1944. The Gothic line was the main German defence line that stretched across the Italian peninsula based on the northern Apennine Mountains. It consisted of over 2,000 properly fortified concrete machine gun emplacements, bunkers, artillery casemates and observation posts. The Allies expended a lot of effort trying to pierce this line between August 1944 and March 1945 with inconclusive results. On the Western Front, the Germans had launched the Ardennes Offensive on the 16th of December 1944, taking the Americans by surprise, though Hitler's armoured thrust into Belgium and Luxembourg ran out of steam by Christmas. However, the Allies were concerned that the Germans might try a similar operation in Italy. In this fear, they were justified. Though an operation on a much smaller scale than that in the Ardennes, Operation Winter Storm came as a nasty surprise to the Americans and allowed the new fascist Italian units to prove their worth to their suspicious German allies. Pressure was growing on the Rimini sector of the Gothic line, and to relieve that pressure and prevent the Allies piercing the line on the Adriatic coast, Operation Winter Storm was conceived. The target was the geographical region of Garfagnana in Tuscany, on the Mediterranean side of Italy. The aim was to push the Allies back 25 kilometers or 16 miles, causing a redistribution of Allied units, relieving the pressure on the Rimini sector to the east. Commanding the operation was General Lieutenant Otto Fretapico, commanding officer of the 148th Infantry Division. The subordinate Italian commander was Major General Mario Carloni of the 4th Monte Rosa Alpine Division. The forces assembled for Winter Storm consisted of four battalions of the Monte Rosa Division and the 3rd Italian San Marco Marine Division. They were joined by three battalions of Germans from the 148th Infantry Division for a total of 9,100 troops. They were supported by about 100 artillery pieces but had no tanks. Incredibly, for an attacking force, they would be outnumbered 2 to 1, striking the United States 92nd Infantry Division which was supported by 140 artillery batteries and 120 tanks. The 92nd Division's nickname was the Buffalo Soldiers, a name first associated with African-American cavalry during the Indian Wars and the American West in the 19th century. The division was composed entirely of African-American units, the U.S. Army in World War II being segregated by race. In total, the Allied troops numbered 18,000 men. As with the Ardennes attack, the Axis forces hoped to nullify Allied air superiority over the battlefield by attacking in poor weather. Three columns would assault the 92nd Division, two Italian and one German. The objectives were the capture of a series of small towns northwest of Lucca. Early on the 26th of December, in bad weather, parts of the German columns struck. Two assault battalions attacked Somo Colonia, overwhelming Company F of the 2nd Battalion, 366th Infantry Regiment. 200 Germans occupied the vacated U.S. positions. Axis mortar fire opened up along the entire line, covering the advance of the two Italian columns. A joint Italian-German mountain troop attack was successful down the centre in the Circhio Valley. West of the river, Italian troops pushed the Americans back and captured the town of Fornaci. On the right of the front, the Italian column here ran into stiff opposition. A battalion of the San Marco Marine Infantry seized the village of Molazzana, but could not take Bruciano. Part of the Monte Rosa division occupied Calomini, but elements of the U.S. 370th Infantry Regiment could not be dislodged in Vergemoli. 
The offensive came to an end on the 27th of December. German troops took Pian di Correglia and Italian patrols reached Calavorno. The US 92nd Division had been routed. The Axis took over 300 Americans prisoner and captured large quantities of weapons, food, vehicles and ammunition. It had been a successful penetration of Allied lines to a depth of 25 kilometers, exactly as planned. But the Axis advanced no further and began to pull back to their own lines on the 30th of December. The Axis plan was not to hold large amounts of territory, but to damage Allied forces facing the Gothic line. And in this, they were successful. For the loss of a thousand men, the Axis had inflicted over a thousand killed and missing on the Americans and taken, as I said, over 300 prisoners of war. The new fascist army had proved its worth to the Germans. It was a major propaganda victory for Mussolini at a very late stage in the war. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share, and also help support my channel at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.